Hi everyone, welcome to the Bison Post Game Show for Jeff Kolpak, Mike McFeely, and Eric Peterson. I'm Logan Campbell. The first round of the FCS playoffs is in the books as NDSU steamed roll Drake to a 66-3 win. Now before we get to football, there's something bigger that we'd like to address. Earlier this week, former Bison Reed Ryan passed away. Coach Enns talked a little bit about it and about the impact that he's had on this program. Yeah, he opened up the press conference to tell him. I didn't hear about it, but he told the team, I, I, you know, and, and and he wanted the team to hear it from him. And mm -hmm. you know, Reed was a he's a good he was a great guy. He was here for four years, and and uh, it's a, it's just a sad situation. Very sad situation. Our condolences go out to his family. Well, the Bison played for Reed today. They all said that in the post game press conference, and they got to business right away. Now there was a hiccup at the beginning. We saw that fumble in the first play of the game, but they were able to turn around, score 66 unanswered points. Yeah, Cam Miller had a nice read option play, had a you know, 15, 60 yard game go and gets a punch up from behind, fumbles, Drake recovers at midfield, kicks a field goal, but after that it was all NDSU. They scored on their next five drives. Even the post game Cam Miller said we weren't too discouraged by that because we knew we could move the ball, which you know isn't a shocker. But NDSU would have liked the bye, but I think the goal going in is to build some momentum heading into Montana State next week, and it seemed, especially offensively, NDSU built up some momentum. Yeah, well, and or Cam said that why would we want to stop playing when we're playing our best football? Cam Miller specifically had himself a great game today. He did. I, I'm worried about you, though, uh, <laughs> after last week. Did, oh. you, did an old man holding a first down stick yeah, drag so, you down today? So what I said <laughs> was My, my correct, wife was very worried everyone. about you. My wife was very worried up, about you. We are up. We are good. We are not concussed. Just have a few bruises. <laughs> but we're, we're able to do our okay. job at 100%. Okay, perfect. But back to Much Cam. Much like Cam Miller yes, today. Yes, yeah. Took a shot, not from a first down old man, but from a, a player from Drake. Um, <laughs> had a stinger in his left shoulder. And I think, as I wrote in my column, I think everybody in, in Bison fandom and in the stadium and on the, the sidelines as well, Probably kind of had a collective uh, when Cam Miller got up very slowly after throwing a touchdown pass to Rajah Nelson. Uh, Cam said he was okay, everything's fine. It's kind of a temporary uh, thing. All he said it was the most painful pain he's ever had in the football mm -hmm. field before. But it just, you know, we talk about that this game was a, a quote unquote buy for NDSU because they were playing Drake, a non scholarship team. It was a 66 to 3 game. But Drake was still hitting. I mean, they were they were kind of trying to bring the thunder, and they were taking some shots at NDSU, um, and so it's one of those things where you got to kind of worry about, you know, Cam Miller and Eli Green kind of got up slow after a play, going into a game at Montana State. You want everybody healthy. It's going to be tough enough the way it is, but uh, it looks like Cam's okay. He was outstanding. I think he was started off what nine for nine, mm -hmm. 155 yards, something like that. Finished 10 for 11. Was terrific again with a couple of great throws, including the one in which he got hurt. And so I think everything's okay, but just kind of one of those moments where everybody's heart went up in their throat. Well, it was actually nice. Kind of like when you went down yeah. on the sidelines yeah. 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 last week yeah. in Northern yeah. Iowa. Was well, actually, everyone was so concerned. Yeah. Yeah. I, was. Tell, I tell everyone, they're like, wait, you got knocked over? I was like, yeah, <laughs> that's how much. It was, it was actually <laughs> nine for nine for 192. And to answer Cam Miller's question, Thank you for correcting me. why would you want to take a week <laughs> off? Because you don't want to risk taking a hit like Cam Miller took. You don't want to risk yes. a twisted ankle. So. That would be the reason. Yeah, I mean, they, they can say whatever they want yeah, about, they, you know, they want to keep, but they wanted the week off. They wanted to take a break. Right. They wanted to rest. They wanted to pre pre prepare for the next round and have a home game. They'd rather play a home game here against somebody than have to go to Montana State. Mm -hmm. But you got to make, yeah. what, apples out of lemons? Or, no, what is it? You lemonade out lemonade, of lemons yes. or something. And lemonade out of lemons. Well, if you can make apples out of lemons, good luck, man. Like you said, you want to rest your bodies, but you talked about how Drake was bringing the heat, bringing some punches. But this game really went just as expected, Colpac, with the Pioneer League team coming into town. Yeah, sometimes when you get a non-scholarship team, you can hit it right. I think San Diego's been pretty good in the past. They've actually won a playoff game here and there. I think Lehigh several years ago was the ultimate. Uh, uh, it was 14-7. to I think that game was pretty close with the Bison in a, in a playoff game. And so once in a while, a non-scholarship team can really hit it good. This is not one of those years. I mean, Drake is just, uh, it's Drake. It's, uh, you know, they tried hard. They, they did the best they could. They play 100 times. This game ends up like this 100 times. Well, it's like the head coach yeah. Todd Steps has said. He said they're in the wrong part of the country. Yeah. Right? yeah. I mean, they, the geography not, is not their they're, friend. They're, they're, yeah. No, because they're playing in the Missouri Valley Conference footprint. So instead of playing a, a, you know, a CAA team or a Southern Conference team, they're playing North Dakota, South Dakota State, and NDSU for their non-conference and their playoff games. 
makes it awful tough. And Montana State, they go to the big sky a little bit as well. Yeah. So. Yep. so good draw for NDSU, bad draw for Drake. I want to talk about NDSU's defense, though, because they really have turned it around during this back half of the season, especially with all the turnovers that they created, Eric. The turnovers have been really good. With I, I don't know if you call the strip sack on Kelton McCasm. The ball popped up in the air. But Sam Young's got interception this week. He had a nice hit that led to a Julian Wadarsik fumble recovery. The turnovers have been good. I still think there's some tackling stuff that needs to be cleaned up. It seems like early in the game, Drake was hitting NDSU on some runs up the middle, and NDSU had to, you know, miss some tackles on the perimeter. So that still needs to get cleaned up, especially against Montana State, which is going to have more, you know, you know a phys more physical offensive line and more uh, playmakers. But that's, I think that's what NDSU's defense's calling card has been. They're, they're not going to be a shutdown defense. They're not going to hold teams to like 150 yards or under 200 yards. They're, they're going to have to create turnovers. And with as explosive as NDSU's offense has been over this last stretch of five to six games, that's that's probably enough. Well, and uh, Drake's head coach, I thought, kind of kind of said something interesting. He said something along the lines of, "Yeah, we saw some things on film we liked." And it's like, "Whoa, okay." Hmm. And that's yeah. that's not right that, up the middle. That, that is yep. not a good sign for yep. NDSU going to Montana State. Well, over the past three weeks, it just seems like NDSU continues to get better and better. What specifically have you noticed that they've gotten better at? Well, I, I thought Southern Illinois and Northern Iowa especially, maybe a little less today, although they everything worked out okay. But I, I thought the defense was playing faster and more confident. Like against Northern Iowa, I, I thought the Bison were hesitant early in the year with some things. They weren't quite as aggressive on the outside as they needed to be. And you saw today Drake was running the ball up the middle and they were throwing the ball to the perimeter. And that's the book on NDSU. And I think that the Bison have been better the last couple weeks. I thought they, how much of a step back you can take in a 66 to three win. But I thought that I mean Drake was 31 rushes for 61 yards. Yeah, no, I, I know, you know, I know. So. But they, but they, there was some things there. But it's it's all relative. But I, it's going to be a challenge at Montana State. Going to be a whole different deal. It's going to be 20,000 drunk madcap Bobcat fans who want revenge because NDSU has thumped Montana State now what three four times in a row, and so. This is going to be a test for NDSU. We're going to see how, how much they really have improved. So NDSU took care of business inside the Dome. Let's talk a little bit about next week's matchup between NDSU and Montana State. You've been to that stadium before. Just tell us a little it's bit loud. about yeah. the environment that they might face. Yeah, it can get loud. It, and and it's, it's outdoors, but it can get loud. It's all about the weather. I think it's going to be decent. 30s, I think, is Yeah, the last time yeah. NDSU was there We're was 40. 2010. It was zero degrees at kickoff. Sheesh. And just it was a nice, clear day, but it was zero degrees. I think it'll be nicer this time. Uh, NDSU in that game was 5 and 19 passing, but ran like for a gazillion yards, 142 17. 5 and 19 is not going to work this time. So no, and I, I think Montana State, um, they've struggled, they've, what, lost two of their last three, but this is a team that beat South Dakota State in 2021 in the semifinals in Bozeman, yep. a really good South Dakota State team, and they took South Dakota State down to the wire, probably actually right. won that game. They had a call, they had a touchdown overturned at the end that was a long time ago but montana state is is pretty good they're one of the yep. obviously one of the better programs good in running backs yep. it's gonna be a great game yep. what's the biggest thing that stands out to you about montana state eric uh if uh, tommy malott it, ndsu's had trouble with quarterbacks who are elusive and can run the ball now tommy malott struggled to complete passes in the final game of the regular season but the, the bye week's huge it, montana state's has two weeks to get healthy tommy malott can run the ball pretty well and, and NDSU is going to have to deal with an atmosphere. Like I can count on one hand how many FCS atmospheres that NDSU would go into where it could uh, it could be an issue. One of them's Bozeman. Three. Another one's the <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's one of the few places where I think NDSU would go into where the home crowd can affect the game. Tommy Malott has played against NDSU. A lot of these Montana State players have played against NDSU. They're not going to be, I don't know what the word is, there's not going to be a mystique or they're not going to be intimidated. No, they're, they're, so they're, they're going to kick be, NDSU's... Yeah. Ours because they because NDSU has kicked their arse several times. Well, the players all said after the game today they are excited to go to Bozeman. I know Cam we Miller all likes Yellowstone yep. apparently. Uh, yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone likes Yellowstone. Big so. Kevin Costner fan. Yes, should be a fun one next week. So for Jeff Kolpak, Eric Peterson, Mike McFeely, I'm Logan Campbell. Thank you so much for watching the Bison Post Game Show presented by Gate City Bank as NDSU got bit to business inside the Fargo Dome, beating Drake 66 to three. We will see you all in Bozeman next weekend.